We have wrapped up our book tour in Ontario and we're ready to head back west again. We need to drive an average of one hour per day to make it to our commitment in Calgary on time. Our initial plan is to drive a fair bit in order to spend part of the long Canadian Thanksgiving weekend at a provincial park and enjoy a bit of leisure time as well as time to get some tasks done. The colors on the trees at this time of year, especially in Northern Ontario, is supposed to be quite spectacular. So the scenery should be a treat. Enjoy the ride. Good morning. Here we are at a national park in Canada. It's on the north side of Lake Superior and it is a holiday Monday. We have a leisurely day today which is highly unusual. We went to bed early and got up late. It is 9 a.m. Looks like we might have a clear blue sky out there. I only peeked out one small window so far. We need to get the little man up and we need to deposit the self-registration that we didn't do last night. Maxwell! Say good morning to the world. Hey, say good morning to the world. Oh, belly rubs. Belly rubs. Come on, you. There we go. Isn't he so sweet? Mwah. Gotta get you outside. Shall we do that? Good weight, Maxwell. Good boy.
I'm just making myself an instant coffee. Yesterday we drove all day. Seriously, all day. I think it was a four hour drive that took us six hours by the time we did our scenic stops, had lunch, and honestly I had to take a 20 minute nap. So it took all day. On my Sudoku calendar, it's one a day. The date says three months ago. <laughs> That's how much leisure time I don't have. While we still have mild weather and easy access to a picnic table here at the campground, it's a good time to give the old boy a trim. Hey, buddy. Yeah. There is little to no wind, so we should be able to capture most of the fur in a bag here. Otherwise, it goes into nature for the birds to make their nest. You are a hairy beast. You're doing so good. Maxwell, <laughs> stand up. He did really good. And I am a royal mess. Hey, show the world how cute you are, my handsome boy. I had a nap, which feels really good. Maxwell is still asleep, but I need to go see if I can get internet connection here tomorrow for the work day. I get no cell phone connection at all at the campsite, but there is supposed to be Wi-Fi at the visitor center. So I'm gonna drive over there and see if I can get enough of a signal to work tomorrow. Otherwise, we're going to have to leave the grounds entirely tomorrow to, uh, to work, because that's my life. All right. Didn't put my glasses on. something fell. <laughs> so that's not going to work. I'm at the parking area and I cannot pick up the Wi-Fi at the visitor center until I walk to the building, which is down a pathway that I can't take the van. So it's too cold to be working outside at a picnic table, which would be a possibility in the summertime, but not today. So now I'm going to drive and see how far I have to go from the campground to get a cell signal. Stay tuned. I am right near the entrance to the park, or the exit, whichever way you're pointing, and I finally have a signal. And I'm right parked over there. So that is where I'm going to work tomorrow. It's about 6 a.m. at the campground on Tuesday morning, which means it's a work day. Long weekend is over. And although I scoped out a place for the cell signal last night so I could work close by in the morning, that didn't actually work out. I tried using it for about an hour after that and it's just not strong enough. So, got up early so we can drive a little bit. The nearest town is about 20 minutes up the road. So, I'm just getting myself ready. We are getting rid of the garbage, emptying the gray tank, that sort of thing. And then we are going to hit the road and 
hopefully get to a town early enough to start work at a good time. Come along for the ride! We are good to go. Maxwell is still in bed, so I'll leave you with some footage of him from over the weekend. Thank you for joining us on this part of our journey. We'll see you again down the road.